morning, y'all. We are here. That's the camera. Oh, you can have my hand. Again with the arm thing. This is the second time we had to do this damn vlog this morning. Like, the first time, I'm not sure what the fuck happened. We got disconnected. And so now we're doing it again. This time, while well, she's not eating breakfast. You still woke me up at 9 in the morning. You know what? I told you. I have shit to do this afternoon. That's why I can't do it in the afternoon. Yes, well, I wake up at 10. I told you to be ready because I was coming over in the morning. You could be here about 10. That I would be up. What time do I normally get here, Lizzie? Yeah. 12. Okay, never mind. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. I've gotten here earlier than that a couple of times. Yeah, about 11.30. Okay, you know what? This episode was long way to the long way to the sun. Long way to morning. Okay. I, I didn't say sun, right. Okay. Long way to morning. Okay. This was this was the first Hudson Center episode of the series. Good thing. Uh, so, it sold partly in slash. Put that down. No. Put that down. No. Put it down. No. Thank you. <laughs> Put that down. Too. You know what? No. Not touch my book. No. Give, give me the book. We're, we're vlogging together. So give me the book. I, I'm paying attention. You're talking. What is my turn off like? <laughs> I'll bite you if I could. Because you know, I don't have a problem biting you. Yeah, drop a kick. That, that does not mean anything I to me. You can know say that. I can say you broke in and attacked me and have you arrested. Yeah, because I'm black, isn't it? Is that the only reason why, huh? So you're huh. talking to a white Mexican. There's you don't no way look I can be Mexican, me. though. Yes, but my dad is, so. Neither does he. Your entire family just looks white. You really have not seen my dad that much. I've seen my dad enough time. Yeah, I'm just talking. Okay. So, this episode is told mostly in flashback. Uh, well, uh, it's told halfway through the flashback. Uh, basically, Hudson was like leader of the Gargoyles back when they were still living in Scotland. And uh, the king got poisoned by some archmage. And they need to get the, the Grimora Machnorum to steal him and everything. So, Hudson takes Goliath and Mona with him to go battle the archmage and take the book back to kill the king. Uh, in the present day, Demona flies into Lisa's house. Crashes into Lisa's house. Crashes into... It's basically the same thing. Not really, because when you fly, you, you land quickly. She just broke the window. Yeah. Okay. I wonder what she's going to tell her landlord. Uh, yeah. Gargoyle. <laughs> it's just like what she's going to tell her, yeah. her boss about her, her broken gun. gun. Yeah. But damn it, Mazda, why do you keep losing your guns? I don't know. I got shot with one of them. I doubt one's been broken. Another one's been broken. Yeah. Well, yeah, because didn't Goliath, like, Goliath break yep, the, yeah, Goliath it like the first one? Yeah, Goliath took the first one. Crush. Yeah. Uh, so, Demona crashes into Elise's apartment. And she shoots her. She's like, you've just been poisoned. You have 24 hours to live. Tell Goliath to meet me here, and he'll have the antidote. By the way, pretty nuts. Yeah. Pretty yeah. shit. She's, like, so super casual about this shit. She's all like, yeah, you know, love your top. How's your hair? How's your day? Uh, yeah, how's your day? By the way, I poisoned you. You know? And it's just like, what the fuck, bitch? Uh, but turns out, uh, Elisa's bad just saved her life. Uh, and so Hudson and Goliath go to confront her about, about the whole thing. And, uh, so I really like this episode because it was a Hudson's a episode. I mean, Hudson isn't my favorite of the Gargoyles, but not even sure I really have a favorite one. Uh, but I did like that the series finally took some time to focus on him, which was a good thing because it hasn't, it hasn't been doing that very much, or at all. Uh, I like, I like Hudson, I like how they played up Hudson's loyalty to Goliath. Uh, because they were coming from a place where, uh, where, where Goliath was originally super loyal to Hudson, I think now that, you know, they're in kind of opposite positions. Hudson, it's now Hudson's turn to be super loyal to Goliath. Uh, when that seems to be Hudson's, like, super defining character trait of the series, that he's super loyal and that, that, that he's of the old mentor character, too. Um, oh, what else? 
I like her. I love. I love Demona. I think Demona is my favorite of the Garl Hoes. And she's the villain. That, that's that's awesome. Uh, I love how super casual she was with Elisa, just completely active poisoning her. Uh, um, and I love I love how Demona was constantly underestimating Hudson because of how old he is. Like, give it up, old soldier. You're 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 too old for this. And this is uh, and so like. Lady, you know he's not like an old human, right? Like, he's still, he's old, but he's not, like, useless. Um, I don't, and uh, that, that's, that's, what, what do you, what do you like, Lizzie? <laughs> All Demona episodes are really good for this, for some reason. Like, oh. I think they put a lot of effort into, like, I think they, like, when they were playing out the episodes with Demona, they are like, okay, what can we have Demona do that makes her, like, really stand out? Also, Demona has this weird thing now where she keeps on, like, trying to get the other gargoyles to join her. Like, she's done it to every single one of the, well, besides Broadway and Brock. I can't wait for that episode where she, like, goes into Brock, she's like, join me, Brock. And together, <laughs> we can rule the world. And Ross is like, oh. That, that'll just be fucking hilarious. Because uh, Ross is a dumb. Yeah, Ross is a dumb. Yeah. Um, also, I like how the series, while the episodes are, while it's kind of an episodic series, there's a continuity running through it. Uh, and episodes do tie back into each other. Uh... Like, in this episode, uh, when they're going after Demona, uh, Brooklyn's like, let me go with you, that's not the thing to go with Demona. And he laughs, like, no, you stay here and walk over the tower. Hudson and I will go, and then Broadway and Hudson will go up with Elisa to make sure she gets home all right. Uh, so the series does like to take time to remember what's happened in previous episodes. That's a good thing. Um, what else is there? Um... What else was there with it? Did you talk about the uh, laser? Oh, yeah! Uh, the whole thing with uh, Hudson's sword kind of bothered me, but, I, but it, it, it was kind of cool, but it was kind of like, huh? Because apparently Hudson's sword is sharp enough to cut through a solid stone statue, but not strong enough to cut through a... What would you say that, that laser was made out of? Plastic, metal... Probably a combination of both, plus yeah. the metal. Which I think, in some respects, are weaker than solid stone, but it's just like, because that was a clean slice, dude. That was just like, and you just see it fly. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, holy fuck! Why aren't they using it on people? And then it's like, oh yeah, because it's Disney. Disney Park. Uh, also, we had a Disney death. For those of you who do not know what a Disney death is, it is. Death by gravity. The character falls to their death. And we had one of those in this episode. It was the Archmagus. And it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, a Disney death in a Disney cartoon. <laughs> Gotta love it. I was actually surprised he didn't do that. <laughs> that's, that's goofy, though. That's... Yeah, but if you notice, it, in uh, Hunchback and Notre Dame, guys knocked Gargo, like, they knocked, uh, Quasimodo knocked some of those guys off the ladder, and they oh. just went, whee! <laughs> Not made that Frodo, laugh. though. Frodo was all like, yeah, Frollo, of course, just was like, ah! Mm-hmm. Fall down to a symbolic hell. Uh, what else was there? Um, I think I have a reason why Goliath was hurt really bad with a laser. Because not only was he hit with a laser, but he was blasted back into a freaking into a freaking chimney. And the chimney fell on top of it. That might be true. So it's like a combination of a laser and the chimney. But they're showing that with super durability and super strength and everything. I mean, I know they're not invincible, but it's just like... What it... Like, when the series doesn't doesn't explicitly define what it takes to really hurt a gargoyle. I think that's, like, kind of the main problem I have with it. Is that we as a viewer do not know... Like, we know what will hurt her least and what will kill her. We don't know what will kill a gargoyle besides smash them to bits. When they're, in, when they're stone, you know? And I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing, because the series isn't afraid to show the gargoyles are mortal. Like, they can be hurt and everything. They do age. They're not invincible. But it doesn't show, like, what the limits of their... Well, it kind of does, but, you know? You're like, you know what I'm trying to get at here? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Uh, 
it's like we know what can hurt them. We don't know how much it will hurt them. Though. That's that's what I'm trying to get. At. Uh, but uh, I think that's about it, though. Yeah. Any, anything else you want to? No, not really. I'm just trying to wake up. It's fucking like eleven o'clock. I've been here for two hours. Okay, two and a half hours. No, an hour and a half. Hey, I didn't go to bed until about two. That's your problem, not mine. And then you woke me up at nine. I told you to be ready in the morning. I sent you a. You didn't say what time you're gonna be. Here. I said in the morning. You know me, Lizzie. When I come in the morning, I come in the morning. I sent you this at eight fifty four last night. Hey, so we've got things to do in the afternoon tomorrow. I'm coming over in the morning for vlogging, so be ready. Next time, well, you want me to be like, I'm coming over at 8 in the morning to be ready? Yeah, because then I'd be like, nope. I'm still, I'd still come over anyway. And then i call the cops. <laughs> you can't, you can't just, like, call the cops on me if I come over too early for you. That's not how this shit goes. Burn. Okay, now we're just, like, killing time. Okay. <laughs> we will see you in our next vlog, which will be very, done very shortly. Uh... See you later.